Just a local man. Test, test. Oh good, okay, I can hear myself. Hello and welcome to the 100th hat here. We finally made it to the uh, triple digits now. And we got a great match for you right now. We've got uh, UC and Fly Society Loke versus uh, Count Sheep. We got two Fire Emblems in. Ooh, right off the bat, we've got Loke in a strong three stock lead. Count going for the Nair and the up there, but it's not going to kill quite yet. So it's going to need a little bit more damage on Loke for that. Now it's a little bit stale, so we might need to switch that up. Back here, not quite getting it up. Ooh, Loke going for his patented drop down, shield breaker, trying to get off, uh, waiting on shield for an attack, but that's not going to work. And he, now we're down uh, two stocks to one stock. Count Chief still got quite a ways to work back into this match. Loke going for the tech chase read. Both players really good pressing with the aerials. Count Chief thinking about getting hit on shield, so he's going to up B out of there for its damage, but he missed that. Air dodge to ledge, sort of a safe place, but now here's Loke's chance to edge guard. Down air not spiking. Loke trying to go for the counter, and that would have sent Ike into a really bad situation. Loke going for the chase. No, he's not going to get that sock off. Count Chief taking back center stage. Loke sending him off stage right now. Almost missing the down B right there, and Count's going to be alive from there. And there's the counter. And still alive, predicting a low recovery. Count Chief goes upwards instead. Count Chief rushing towards Loke, trying to put him pressure, trying to get him off stage as soon as can. Count Chief flashing his shield, and if that shield breaker was let loose, he would have lost that shield. And up tilt will take it. Game one going to UC and Fly Society's Loke. Now, Count Chief will probably want a stage with a platform so that he can recover a little bit easier compared to having to go against... Ooh, opting for FD. So the problem here is if he goes Ike again... Yeah, yeah, if he... I don't know why John... I don't know why Catch is still advertising. I mean, I guess it's still in theaters. Count Chief opting for FD... He's really only got two options to recover from side B, and as we've seen, Loke is definitely one to chase and read the recovery. He's probably going to opt for a little bit more stage coverage when it comes to his aerials, and hoping that he can catch Loke in some juggles. Loke turning his back around, waiting for Count Chief to hastily get off. Opting for ledge again. He's probably going to mix it up next time, and Loke's going to be aware of that if he can. Scooping him up, look in the air. Oh, beautiful. Merely avoiding that F. So, I mean, he avoided pretty well, but Steven still. Count Chief. Going for the jab. Both trying to get that center stage. And center stage is really important, especially in these kind of matchups. Because once you're kind of towards the ledge, you don't really have as much options. Scooping him up, killing with up air, and Count Chief's taking the first stock in this match. More out of this game. Ooh, a hasty up B. He's going to be punished hard for that. A hasty air dodge as well. Count Chief not quite reading the DI on that. It's really tough. People really underassume how hard it is just to kind of predict exactly where the opponent's kind of moving. It's really a split second decision, as a lot of things are in Smash. Nair into back air, putting him right towards the edge. Loke is going to roll right behind, go for a dancing blade, and that'll seal that stock. He's at a 60% dev, almost 60% deficit. He's making it back with uh, FD's lack of platforms. Here's the neutral. Both players are just kind of running in just a little bit, trying to see which one overextends first. Whoever overextends first is going to lose a lot of control. Well, keeps going for these shield breakers, but we haven't seen Count Chief really pop up the shield, and unfortunately, an undercharged uh, side B is going to leave him falling to his doom. 
he still has, he can easily make this game up. Ike has such good damage output, and just scooping with Nair, or with Up Smash, or with Up Smash, that will take it as well. Just like that, it's pretty much an even game. Really, a lot of commentators say this, but anybody's game. Down throw. Oh, air dodging. Scooping. Reading the air dodge directions. Great job on Count Chief. I think Count Chief is doing really well when it comes to when Loki is kind of pressured or in these corner situations, kind of panic air dodging. Count Chief is just kind of resetting himself and just preparing to be right where Loki ends up. Uh oh, here comes the air dodge. And missing the air dodge. And that is 2 0 for <laughs> Loki. You hate to see it happen here, folks, but. Woo! Hat 100! Woo! We're at the 100th hat! Speaking of hats, Stanley has a really nice hat on. Uh, I can't see it right now, but this is staple hats. Just like PSI guy over there, he's a seeder for the tournaments. Uh, 